So whenever I see us start graphing decimals on a number line and calling them rational, it doesn't really feel that natural because the rationals are fractions. And I don't want to see a decimal inside of a fraction. So what are we talking about there? So every rational number, every fraction, can be expressed in fraction notation or in decimal notation. We could actually carry out the division and it's still representing the same number, but it's just in a different form. So even though it's not written as a fraction, fraction, a fraction, we can write a fraction in decimal notation. Their equivalent is just a different form to see. So a little bit more practice for your long division. We want to convert negative three eighths to decimal notation. So that first do. So negative 3 eighths as a decimal, what is it going to look like? So first of all, if my number is negative as a fraction, it's going to have to be negative as a decimal. So if I just take into account the fact it's going to be negative right now, I don't have to deal with dividing by a negative. We can just deal with the positive numbers. So what am I looking at? Taking 3 and dividing by 8. I know that it's going to be negative. I've already taken that into account. But another way that we could look at negative 3 eighths is to say what? 3 over negative 8. So if you're not comfortable saying, I know it's going to be negative and dealing with the positives, you can throw a negative on the outside if it makes you feel better. Okay, so 8 doesn't go into 3. We need to add factor 0, so I'm introducing a decimal. How many times does 8 go into 30 without going over? 3. So we're looking at 24. Difference is 6. 8 doesn't go into 6, so we need to bring down a 0. How many times can 8 go into 60 without going over? 7. So, 7 times 8 is 56. Difference between those two is 4. Again, 8 doesn't go into 4. We need to bring down another 0. And 8 goes into 40 exactly 5 times. So, remainder zero again means this is what kind of a decimal? A terminating decimal. But again, don't forget, this number is negative since negative fraction has to be negative as a decimal as well. So, don't forget. All right. So, we saw a terminating decimal. What do you think we're going to see next? So, I'm looking at converting negative 6 over 11. So again, if you don't like that form, what can you do with that negative? You put it out on the front, or I can give it to the denominator. But regardless, I know in the end it's going to be negative, so I'm going to write it now so I don't forget. So let's do a calculation. I'm taking 6 and dividing it by 11. 6 doesn't go, <laughs> 11 doesn't go into 6, so I need to add a factor of 0. We're introducing a decimal. So, how many times can 11 go into 60 without going over? 5. So, I'm looking at 55. Difference. Bringing down another 0. How many times can 11 go into 50 without going over? 4. So, I'm looking at 44. Difference between those? 6. Bringing down a 0. What's happening? How many times can 11 go into 60 without going over? Five, got 55, difference is 5, bring down a 0. 11 into 50, how many times without going over? 4. So we have a repeating decimal, but what pattern is repeating? What part of the number keeps going? It's not just continuing 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, or 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. It's repeating. 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4. So, to write that number with that little bar notation over what repeats, what's it going to look like? 0 0.54 and this entire uh, expression, that entire quantity, keeps repeating and repeating. So, this is equivalent to negative 0 0.54 repeating. And again, we had the remainder that kept repeating, so our decimal keeps repeating. 
and we know that terminology by now. All right. So two for you to try. Convert to decimal notation, 0 divided by 8, and 4 divided by 3. So with that first one, 0 divided by 8. What did you get out? 0 divided by anything is always 0. Positive, negative, anything except for 0. 0 divided by 0 is not defined, but we'll talk about that later. So 0 divided by any, nother, any number other than 0 always turns out to be 0. I like that one. That was easy. What about 4 thirds? It's positive, so it's going to be positive in the end. You don't have to deal with any negatives. And 3 goes into 4 how many times? Once, without going over. Difference between there is 1. We need to bring down 0. 3 goes into 10 three times without going over. So what happened with that number? 3 goes into 10 three times without going over. Ooh, getting ahead of myself. Okay, so we get a repeating decimal just with that number 3. So this is equivalent to 1.3 repeating. All right, had a little bit more practice. 